Welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. It's starting to snow, and I was wondering, do you want to make a snowman? <laughs> We're going to make a big bulky weight snowman today. I'm using a size 6 bulky weight yarn to make our plushy snowman, and if you can't get your hands on a size 6 bulky weight yarn, you can use two strands of regular worsted weight yarn held together, and you can make him along with me today. If you'd like a copy of the pattern for our sweet little snowman, you can find it over at our Etsy shop. And if you pop over to our Etsy shop and do a little shopping, you're helping support us here at the Jaden Stitches Show, and we really appreciate it. So you'll find the link for that in the description box down below, and thank you. And without further ado, let's grab our hooks and our big, thick, fluffy yarn, head over to the craft table, and make ourselves a little snowman. In order to make our snowman, we're going to use two different kinds of yarn. You need scrap amounts of worsted weight yarn in orange for his nose, a small amount of black for his mouth, and two other colors for his scarf. I've got red and yellow here. Today I'm using red and green. The main body, though, is going to be made out of a nice size 6 bulky weight yarn. In this case, I'm using Bernay Baby Blanket because it's got this soft, cloud-like feel to it. It's really thick. Um, but it's really, really squishy, and I kind of think it looks like a giant snowball, so that's why I thought it was good for this project. You're also going to want some stuffing, four buttons, because we're going to use two for his eyes and two as decoration. You want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and now let's talk hooks. Our main body will be made using an eight millimeter hook. Let's see if I can show you that there. That's eight millimeter. And this, you can use a 7 or a 9, but 8 millimeters probably the best. His scarf is going to be made using the 5.5 millimeter or an I9. That's so that his stitches are nice and loose. And his nose, so that we have nice tight stitches in his nose, we're going to use a 4.25 millimeter hook or a G6. And once you've got all of that put together, we can get started. We're going to build our snowman in one piece, and we're going to begin at the top of his head with a cinch circle. Into our cinch circle, we are going to work six single crochet. So once you've got your six cinch circle created, you can work six single crochet into it. Once you've worked six single crochet into your cinch circle, and keep in mind if you're using this sort of particularly bulky weight yarn and a bigger hook, you might not be used to it and it's a bit sort of fiddly, so just be patient with yourself. It does handle differently than standard yarn does, so it might feel a little weird and that's okay. <laughs> it's also going to be a little on the tricky side to readily see the stitches, so make sure that you kind of feel for them if you're not absolutely sure where your next stitch is. That's row one completed. Make sure you cinch up your circle so that it's nice and tight and circular. We're going to work in the round so we're not joining our rows with a single crochet, or I should say slip stitch. We're just going to work directly into the next stitch, and that's this one here. And in row two, we're going to work two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So two single crochet in each stitch, you should have 12 stitches in the end of row two. At the end of row two, you should have 12 stitches, and if your work it feels a little funny, looks a little bubbly, don't worry because this yarn also has a good deal of elasticity built into it, and we're going to be able to stuff and shape our little snowman as we go. So don't worry if your top part's sticking out or if it's all kind of weird on you. It will work out. <laughs> row three, we're still increasing. We're going to increase from 12 to 18 stitches. So we're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. So this is our increase. One single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Two 
and one single crochet into the next stitch. And that's your pattern two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. And at the end of row three, you should have 18 stitches. At the end of row three, you should have 18 stitches. And remember, you can tug your top a little bit and make it look a little more round. And it will, it will. And if you're still having trouble, don't worry. When we stuff it, it'll stuff itself into shape. <laughs> For the next three rows, so rows four, five, and six, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So you're still going to have 18 stitches in each row. And you can try and, and if you find this hard to see, so you see where my row one turns into my row two, there's a little bump right there. If you find that hard to see, you can put a little safety pin or a stitch marker in there and use that as your start point. And as you work around and around, you'll know every single time you get back to that point, you've finished a row. And that's sort of an easy, quick way to um, mark your rows, you can sort of count down from there. So single crochet each stitch all the way around, no increasing, no de decreasing for three rows. I'll see you at the end of row six. We're at the end of row six. You should still be working 18 stitches all the way around and you should have something that's starting to look like a snowball. <laughs> Now we're going to begin to decrease. So we're almost finished with the head part of our snowman. Decreasing, we're going to do the opposite count that we did for increasing. So we're going to single crochet two stitches together to begin. So you pick up a loop in each of the next two stitches. You should have three loops on your hook and then you wrap and pull back through everything. So that's single crochet two together. Single crochet once into the next stitch and then repeat. Single crochet two stitches together and then single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do that all the way around until you're back down to 12 stitches. At the end of row seven you're going to have 12 stitches and now you want to add a little stuffing so that it's not so difficult to stuff the head when the, the hole gets a little bit smaller. So grab your stuffing and stuff the first part of your snowman. Before we're completely finished the head, we've got one more row of decrease to go. So you might want to keep a thumb or some fingers down on that stuffing. And we're going to work single crochet two together all the way around. So we're going to go from a stitch count of 12 down to a stitch count of six and you're working a strange small little space with big thick fluffy yarn so <laughs> patience is key you can take this opportunity once you've finished the end of row eight to add a little more stuffing and to make sure that your head is nice and round just like a snowball oh my gosh <laughs> it's so soft <laughs> And you should have six stitches left. The head is finished. Now we're going to move on to the body. And like I said, it's all made in one piece. So here we go. Now we're increasing again. We're going to increase back to 12. So you're going to work two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you're doing exactly the opposite of what we just did. You have six stitches. You're going to work two single crochet into each one. You'll have 12, 12 stitches at the end of row nine. End of row nine, you should have 12 stitches. We're continuing to increase. So for row 10, we're gonna work two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And remember, you can stick your fingers in these stitches. They should be big enough. So if you're not sure where the next one is, just move your finger around until you find it. Two single crochet into the next stitch. single crochet into the next stitch, and that is your pattern. Two, one, two, one. All the way around, you'll have 18 stitches at the end of row 10.
All right, you should have something that looks like this. It looks like a head with a little neck and the beginning of some shoulders. <laughs> We've got one more row of increasing ahead of us. So you should have 18 stitches. We're moving into row 11. We're going to move up to 24 stitches. We're going to work two single crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So that again is two single crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So the pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one. All the way around, you'll have 24 stitches when you're done. All right, that is the end of the increasing. So at the end of row 11, you should have 24 stitches all the way around. And now you're just going to single crochet straight for the next few rows. So rows 12 through 15. 12 through 15, you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You'll still have 24 stitches per row and I will see you at the end of row 15. Alright, we're at the end of row 15. You should still have 24 stitches all the way around and something that resembles most of a snowman. <laughs> we're going to begin to decrease now. So for row 16, we're going to move from 24 stitches back down to 18 and we're going to work two single crochet together. So single crochet, two together, and then single crochet into the next two stitches. One, and then two. So that again is single crochet, two together, single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And that's the pattern. Single crochet, two together, single crochet into each of the next two, all the way around, back down to 18 stitches. Once you've reached 18 stitches, we're going to continue decreasing. And the next row, we're going to go from 18 back down to 12. So you're going to work single crochet, two together, single crochet into the next stitch. So the pattern should be pretty clear by now. We're just sort of reversing in for increase, decrease, increase, decrease. So single crochet, two together, and single crochet into the next stitch. And that's it. Two together, then one. Two together, then one. All the way around. So at the end of row 17, we're back down to 12 stitches, and now you want to stuff the main part of your body. So you can grab your stuffing. Make sure to use little pieces at a time. Get all the way back up into that neck if you feel it needs a little bit more. And stuff your snowman. Alright, quick tip, you don't want to overstuff your body because you do want him to be able to sit flat, right? So once you've got enough in there and you know that he'll be able to sit flat, and don't worry, you can your next couple rows, or I should say the next row, you might feel it needs a little bit more. You can always add a little bit extra, but we want to do our last row of decrease now. So we're going to put our hooks back in. There we go. And we're still decreasing. This is the super decrease row, also the most trying. <laughs> You're going to work two single crochet together. So single crochet, two stitches together, all the way around. So you're going to go from 12 stitches down to six. Again, this is closing up the hole and it's a little bit sort of finagly. So be patient, especially if you're using this bulky yarn because it uh, isn't the smoothest gliding stuff but um, I think I will sacrifice smoothness for a nice big fat snowball. <laughs> We're on to our last row now. This would be row 18, or I should say row 19. We've just completed row 18. You should be down to six stitches or thereabouts. If you're one up or down, don't worry about it. Now we just want to close up that opening. So we're going to slip stitch through the posts, around the posts, and by doing that you kind of stick your hook through the first stitch 
and out the second one and that highlights the post of the stitch. Tricky to see on this super bulky yarn but you your hook should be able to uh, you should be able to feel it more than sort of see it with your hook. Just grab the yarn and slip stitch. Move on to the next set so in and out that highlights the post and slip stitch come on there we go <laughs> and you're going to work this <clears throat> around your last row until your space has closed and if you find you get almost all the way back around to the beginning and it hasn't closed up all the way don't worry because we're going to cut a little tail and you can cinch the rest of it shut so there's four and my space is pretty much closed so I'm going to cut my little tail so I'm going to grab my scissors you don't need much tail fasten off and now you can grab your yarn needle and if you have to you can weave it in and out and just cinch that little space tight otherwise you just weave it back and forth through a couple of stitches and tuck the rest of it back into the body of your snowman. Now we're going to make his little scarf. So grab your 5.5 millimeter hook or your I9 and your first color of worsted weight yarn and let's make him a scarf. We're going to begin with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 42. Once you've chained 42 stitches, we're going to half double crochet all the way back. So we're going to skip the first two chains from the hook. That's actually going to count as our first half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet into the third chain. So one, two, three, wrap once pick up a loop in that third chain and then wrap and pull back through all three that's your half double crochet you're going to half double crochet in each chain all the way back to the beginning once you've half double crocheted all the way back you should have around 41 half double crochets just snip your yarn and fasten off Yeah. Now you're going to grab your other color. For me, that's red. Going to make a slip knot. And you're going to join it. So flip your work just like you would if you were working backwards. You're going to join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. chain two, that counts as your half double crochet, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way to the end. At the end of that row, snip your yarn and fasten off. And that's the bulk of the scarf done. Now you can add some fringe if you like to both ends. To add a little fringe, just cut yourself some short lengths of the both of the colors of your yarn. So this is about, what, four inches long. Take one end, grab your hook, slip it through a piece of an end stitch, fold the yarn in half, grab it in the middle, pull it back through, and before you pull either of the ends through, grab both the ends, pull it through the loop, might have to do this twice. There we go. And grab both ends, pull taunt, and there you go. Little fringe. You can work a whole bunch of those across the end on both sides. Once you've got all of your fringe on, you can just select a length that you like and give it a haircut. Careful not to cut yourself. Next, you can place your scarf around the neck of your snowman. And that hides any little funny 
bumps or lumps you might have in the neck of your snowman. So make sure it's on there nice and comfortable. And then we're just going to tack it in place. So you're going to grab a small piece of what other, whatever color of yarn is closest to his neck. Just a short, short piece. Stick it in your yarn needle. And then you're just going to pick up a piece of a stitch. So something there like that. And, oops, it undid. <laughs> so a piece of a stitch. And then make sure that your scarf is on nice and tight, nice and snug around his neck. And then just come through both pieces of that top color. And you should make sure that both pieces sort of fall out the top. Then you can go through it again. So I'll just give myself a little bit of slack here. Wrap it once more. And then tie a knot in both sides and then tuck the whole thing down into the body of the snowman. So I'm going to stick my needle into the body of the snowman, pick up the ends of that little knot, both ends, and weave it into the body. And this keeps your scarf from falling off. Next you're going to grab the two buttons that you have for his belly decorations. And you're going to place them right there on your snowman, somewhere in between where your scarf parts. Grab your needle and thread and sew them both down. So I like to start with the top one. So I'm just going to knot my thread around this yarn here. There we go. And then sew that button down nice and tight. Once you've got your first button down, run your thread underneath some of a couple rows of your snowman down to about where you want your second button on. And then go ahead and sew on button number two. Once you've got your button sewn on, you can create a little knot underneath it, either by grabbing some of your thread or a piece of your yarn, and just create your knot underneath your button. And always knot things a couple times. Then you can stick your needle, careful that you don't poke yourself, pull it out the bottom, snooze, snip your thread, there we go, and those are your belly buttons sewn on. <laughs> now we're going to move on to his nose. So you're going to grab your 4.25 millimeter hook, or your G6, your bright orange yarn, and we're going to begin with a slip knot. Then we're going to chain seven. You're going to skip over the first stitch, find the second stitch, single crochet into it, and single crochet into each chain all the way back. You'll have six single crochets, chain one, turn your work, and we're going to single crochet the first two stitches together. Single crochet into the next two stitches. And single crochet the last two stitches together. So that brings us down from six to five. Come here, you. There we go. 
I mean, six to four. So sorry, you should have four stitches across the top of that last row there. So that's row two. Chain one, turn your work. We're into row three. You're going to single crochet the first two stitches together. And single crochet the last two stitches together. So we're going from four to two. Chain one, turn your work and single crochet the last two stitches together. So you've gone from two to one. So you should have a nice little triangle. You're going to cut yourself a long tail. Fasten off. And now we're going to grab our yarn needles and we're going to Hold our nose in half. So holding the point in one hand, take the other two corners, put them together, and this is the line we're going to sew up. So you want to try and keep those two edges together and nice and even. And I'm going to just stick my yarn needle through the first two sides, thread it up. And I'm going to work a nice tight whip stitch across the edge all the way up. So make sure you're getting a piece of both sides of each edge as you're working because you want to make sure that you sew your nose together. Maybe work two stitches at the end, and then you should have a carrot. <laughs> you can stuff that little short tail into it. You don't actually need to stuff your carrot nose. And then you're going to grab your snowman, find the middle of his face, somewhere in line with the buttons you sewed on, and very carefully sew your nose on your face. So pick up a piece of a face stitch and a piece of your carrot. And just keep pausing every so often to make sure you still like the position of your nose. And then work the next stitch. Pick up a piece of the snowman and a piece of your carrot. And so stop, make sure he's in the right spot and continue. Once your nose is on nice and tightly, you can take your yarn and instead of creating a knot, run it up the bottom through a bunch of those bottom stitches just like that. Pull not too tightly, you don't want to sort of warp the shape of your nose. And then you can skip over a piece of a stitch and work the same stitches back. Try not to pull it out of alignment. And then you can just work the rest of it into the body of your snowman. Next, grab your needle and thread again, your other two buttons, and place them on your face, somewhere on either side of your nose, maybe close to it, maybe further apart, up, down, it's up to you. Um, you can put, a, put one in place with a needle, a straight pin if you have it, or you can just do what I do and kind of eyeball where you like them. Put one down and then just start sewing. And just like you did these two down here, you can sew one down, bring your needle through to the other side, and then sew the other down. And that way you only have to knot once. Once your eyes are sewn on, all that's left is to put on his happy little mouth. So we're going to take our little scrap amount of black yarn and our yarn needle and we're going to go in between a couple stitches just above his nose and out 
just underneath one of his eyes. Leave a little bit of your yarn showing out the top because you're going to use that to knot your, uh, your two ends together. Then you can lay out as much yarn as you like. What a happy, jaunty little smile. Go in at the other corner where you want his mouth to end. So somewhere under his other eye. And then bring the needle out underneath a bottom stitch, somewhere down underneath, directly beneath his nose. Don't pull your yarn tight, because you want to leave some slack there. And then pop over top of your yarn, go back through the same hole you just came out of, and then come up through the same space that you brought your yarn in originally. There. One happy smiling face. Knot your two ends together, trim your yarn, and pull it back into the body of your snowman. <laughs> and there you go! I love this snowman so much, I am going to make a whole pile of them, literally. <laughs> cute. They make such sweet decor. They're going to look so cute sitting under the tree and on the table. And I can think of at least six people who are going to get one this holiday season. <laughs> and that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for popping in and spending some time with us here at the Jaden Stitches Show. And don't forget, you can pop over to our Etsy shop and help support us there as well. And we really appreciate it when you do. Thank you so much. And we will see you soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe. Stay crafty and have an awesome snowy week. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>